We are in the midst of a bushfire crisis tonight, the likes of which this state has never seen. Right now, there are an unprecedented 17 fire fronts burning out of control at emergency level. I'm blocking the highway, so... East of Taree, residents bolt, and the battle to save Harrington is on. And then, two minutes later... A mighty inferno. We've been here for 50 years, and this is the worst I've seen. Every possible aircraft thrown into the fire. The Huey Chopper and off the coast the massive Ericsson heli tanker sucking up seawater before shutting down the blaze. Every man, woman and family pet beating a hasty retreat. The wind had changed, it was coming towards us, that it was time to get out. The firefront in the Crowdy Bay National Park seems to go on forever. A huge blaze needing the biggest plane in the RFS arsenal. Close by, this was the view on the Pacific Highway just south of the Taree Service Centre. Close the road, we're crawling along. And this was why. Fires burning west of the highway at Hillville. This homestead surrounded on all sides. And this was the view in the centre of the tourist town. A red haze descending on the outskirts. They are poised to run. My well, missus has already got bags packed and she's left, so I'm just uh, waiting and I'll take the dog. Temperatures in the low to mid-30s, winds gusting up to 80 kilometres an hour. Fort Macquarie is at the tip of a blowtorch. You need to know, though, once a fire gets to an emergency alert level, we may not be able to get to help you. We haven't got the resources to be able to put into every single area, so you must be prepared to survive yourself. And the RFS is warning, because of the winds, embers are being carried more than six kilometres ahead of the fire front creating spot fires and a dangerous new challenge for the RFS. Have a look at these flames that are creeping through the bushland here and dangerously close to dozens of houses here. Take a look behind me at just all of the residents out on the street. They're watching on anxiously, hoping that none of these embers jump the road. The firefighters on the ground here are telling me this situation is going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Remembering just the fires we've got burning today are covering an area, more than twice the entire area of New South Wales that burnt three bushfires last year. <laughs> In one day alone is the fires that we're dealing with. So we've got days ahead yet before we get a real understanding of the, of the damage and destruction. These fire fueled storms, they are called pyrocumulus clouds. They happen during extreme bushfires when intense heat and rapidly rising smoke head up into the atmosphere. The smoke absorbs moisture, cools, expands and creates that cloud. It can be unstable, generates severe wind gusts and even lightning strikes. The RFS warning tonight, these clouds are very dangerous. Don't be caught out in the open. And this is a view of the fires from space. You can see the huge amount of smoke heading out over the Tasman and towards New Zealand. As bad as it gets, that is the stark warning from the Rural Fire Service in New South Wales today as Tuesday dawns. Catastrophic fire danger warnings in place and almost 600 schools and TAFE colleges will be closed closed today, affecting around 100,000 students. We've already got significant fires burning up on the north coast of New South Wales. A number of those fires are exceeding 100,000 hectares alone. Uh, you're talking about a thousand kilometre uh, fire edge perimeter. So far this season, uh, we've burnt more than a million hectares as a result of these fires. Um, uh, last year, the entire fire season in New South Wales uh, burnt only 280,000 hectares. Uh, we are talking significant fires already across New South Wales, and under catastrophic conditions, fires that start and take hold will grow and develop uh, extremely quickly uh, and become large fires very, very easily. Gee, he wasn't sugarcoating the situation, was he? No, certainly not. Uh, they're taking this very seriously because as you mentioned you know this catastrophic warning has never been uh, issued before in the greater sydney area and this this is something that the rfs really wants to get across that this isn't just scaremongering this is really wanting people to be aware of the situation and just how bad that it is likely to be when these conditions change especially later in the afternoon those winds are going to come in that southerly change will fan any flames that come across and of course the weather's going to be 38 degrees it's a really tense time ahead all the latest information as well is on the screens telling you how many bushfires are happening currently there are 54 active fires across new south wales about 35 of those are uncontained at the moment. Okay, so hi, I filmed this video two weeks ago. I'm editing it right now, as you can see, but it was from two weeks ago, so it's a bit out of date now. Um, I planned on uploading it two weeks ago, but it just didn't happen. Um, at the moment, on this very day, it's like super duper hot and we're at risk of a lot of wildfires, like they're already going, but like getting worse sort of thing, if you know what I mean. So I just wanted to quickly say that I wish everyone well and I hope everyone is okay and safe. I know that's not the case for everyone, but I just hope that everything turns out better than it's expecting to if that makes any sense um but yeah i just felt the need to say that and share that because i'm pretty sure i'm uploading this video today the 12th of november so i need to say this hi <laughs> welcome back to my channel <coughs> as you can probably hear by that cough i'm not well at all as you can also see by the state of my room I'm not mentally well either because my mental state reflects my room and my room is a mess so you can put two and two together. Also, like my mermaid swimsuit thing, yeah, cool. It's drying at the moment and I didn't want to leave it out in the sun and forget about it and get sun bleached. So I was like, mm, I'll just hang it up in my room. I have the fan going, so if you can hear that, I apologise. It's like ticking, yeah, don't know what's wrong with it. Um, but that's okay because we're moving in a month. There's a fun update. I should be moving house in a month, so my life's going to be even more hectic. 
Oh, we love that for me. I hate moving. I hate the process of moving. <clears throat> it's really hard to talk when you're sick. <coughs> it's a really nasty cough. It hurts. It's really painful. And it just keeps going. It's like endless. And I'm always choking because of it. Because I just keep coughing and coughing and coughing. And I feel like I'm going to die because I can't breathe. And then I just start choking and gagging and nearly vomiting. And I'm like, wow, what is this? Um, but it's only a cough. It's not like I have like cold symptoms where my nose is runny and my ear is blocked. It's not like that. It's like it's only the cough and it's really painful. But whatever. I blame Zach because it's his fault. Okay, Zach, if you're watching this, it's your fault. I don't appreciate it at all. <coughs> Why do I just sound like a freaking Minecraft llama or alpaca or whatever the fuck they're called? <clears throat> so, hi. I've been gone, as you can probably tell. It's really hard to speak. <clears throat> this <clears throat> isn't why I've been gone for so long. That wouldn't make sense. I haven't been sick for that long. I've been sick for like a week. And when I'm trying to come back, it's when I'm sick. That doesn't make sense. Okay. I made a video about a week ago. Isn't that a song? Anyways. It's a mental breakdown, okay? Literally, the video I filmed for an hour straight. Um, I haven't edited it yet because I don't want to go near it at the moment because I'm like, wow, I don't even know how to begin to edit that video. <coughs> but it's literally me <coughs> having a mental breakdown for an hour straight, just talking to the camera. And I'm still interested in uploading that video if you're interested in seeing it. Do you know how hard it is to speak with this throat at the moment? <coughs> it's very raw and real and I speak about a lot of important things. I mean, things that I felt were important to talk about, um, because that's how I was feeling at the time. And, oh my god, please just leave me alone. I need a butter menthol. Hang on. Nice. If you're interested in that video, I can still upload it. And I say in that video that I was pretty sure that that was going to be my first video. <coughs> <coughs> Back to YouTube. <coughs> but if I were to just upload that video with no context and that be my first video back <laughs> I just don't think that's a good idea because yeah I'm literally having a mental breakdown probably not the best thing to come back to so I thought I'd make this quick please be quick and short because I don't have time to edit anything else and I have other videos that I'm excited to film one three four <laughs> I missed two, not on purpose, I wasn't counting to four, I was just thinking in my head. Four videos that relate to the company of that bathing suit. So stay tuned, there's four videos coming out on that. Wow, cool, that's good. Four videos, good, all right, cool. So yeah, I'm excited to film those and you know get those up. And it's really annoying because I have so many old videos that I have pre-filmed from like a long time ago that at the time when I was filming them, I was happy filming them and I really was excited for them to go up but I don't know if I can look back on all those times and edit those times and upload them. I don't know. Uh, that doesn't make sense to any of you. It's a personal thing. Um, I'll probably still do it. It just probably won't be for... It just probably won't be for a while so those videos will be like nearly a year old which is crazy. But... I don't know, we'll see how I feel. It's just, I don't know, it's just a, it's a touchy subject at the moment. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to make a quick video, just kind of saying hi. I haven't seen you in a while. I am coming back. I've gotten so many of your DMs um, from my subscribers and stuff, just like literally all around the world, saying that they miss me and they want me to come back and they miss my videos. And it's like crazy because I'm like, like, people miss me, people want me to come back, like, what? People watch my videos, like, what? Like, I don't know. It's just crazy, because I'm like, I don't know. Used to people at my school not liking me, so this is a whole new world for me. <coughs> <coughs> so annoying. Bare face, messy hair, slouchy top, messy room. Just being real, raw, and honest with you. On oh, my first video back. <clears throat> I'm not gonna cough. It's fine. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Nice. That is up my nose, like Miss Moo. Yeah, I just wanted to say I appreciate all of you that have reached out and messaged me, saying all of those kind words. It really means a lot to me. It's crazy. I am coming back. I'm gonna get my shit together. You'll see in that video when I eventually upload it that that was me. <laughs> that was me trying. <laughs> to get my shit together and failing because I had a huge mental breakdown. And I went so loopy. <laughs> it's funny to look back on now, but yeah. At that moment, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I mean, I'm still thinking that, but you know. So, hi. I am coming back. I'm not gonna promise any consistency because I don't wanna lie or promise something that I can't keep because um, that's not what I'm about to do on this channel you know that I've said that a million times I want to keep this channel as authentic as I can yeah things are going to be different I might change my filming uh, what my uploading schedule I kind of want a few things to change like I might change my intro and outro depending on how I'm feeling because I do like those so I might keep them but also I feel like I'm in a whole other sort of headspace at this stage of my life at the moment and just from that internal change I feel like other things should be changing so maybe I should change them. Hi editing Talia back again um I have like a new uploading schedule it's gonna be like every Saturday I don't know about an extra day I'm gonna keep it at Saturday for now if I feel like I can finally get out and get back into the group of things then I'll add a day but at the moment I'm gonna try my best to do it every Saturday that's probably not even gonna happen because I'm still like not completely mentally there but I'm trying so I'm going to try and do Saturdays um because I was like trying to think about it and like shuffle things around and think about what would work best for me and I think Saturday would probably work best for me realistically and I'm trying to be realistic here I'm changing things up also yes I do have a new intro and outro but you're gonna have to wait until my next video to see those because I want to kind of keep it a surprise so yeah I miss you guys I miss your comments and everything I'm still getting a few of your dms but not as many um as when I'm uploading but yeah just wanted to quickly say hi and now bye because I'm going now anyways I will see you in my next video I don't know when that'll be but hopefully soon hopefully I can get my shit together so yeah stay tuned for those bye guys